According to the Office for National Statistics, there were approximately 750,000 LGBT people living in the UK as of 2010, which is about 1.5%. And since Mika came out in 2012, we know there's at least one more. As the current law stands, if they wanted to marry one another, however, they couldn't. Unless they were a very confused lesbian and gay man. Nah. The current government are seemingly trying very hard to implement the legislation of same-sex marriage in the UK, but they're coming up against a bit of opposition. Various religious organisations, as well as two political parties, have expressed their displeasure at the Prime Minister's take on gay marriage. The Church of England has some very valid arguments. Well, valid in a church, anyway. They believe that homosexuality is a sin and therefore, as is same-sex marriage, they also believe a man made a ship and managed to coax two of every animal onto it. Even lions. Lions. This is before the existence of tranquilizers, people. Make of that what you will. No offence meant. So, in order to find out what the UK public think about same-sex marriage, I thought I'd ask them all. All of them. All of the people. And this is what they had to say. Lions. A few people were completely fine with same-sex marriage and saw no problem in legalising it in the UK. Yeah, I think it should be legal, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think it's acceptable for same-sex marriage to be legalised. I do. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Two people are happy together, they should be allowed to be happy together. I know there's a lot of different views surrounding it, especially with the church and the government and whatnot, but uh, personally I don't think that there's a problem with uh, same-sex marriages, no. If you love someone, you love someone. <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> I think that people have the right to choose what they want, whether it's church or a registry office. 100% yeah, I think, you know, why not? If two people love each other, then I think definitely. I think it should be just like any other marriage. If you love someone, who, what does it matter what they are, who they are, what colour they are? doesn't matter. You sh if you love someone, you love someone. Some people weren't against legalising same-sex marriage in the UK, but they could see how others might be. I think maybe some generations you know, are still against that, that side of things, but I think it's far more progressive than it has been for many, many years. You know. From a religious point of view, I can understand it. I think the government are wrong to try to force all churches to say well, you've got to um, allow marriage. If, if it's someone's against someone's religion, you can't really um, force them to marry couples. I think it's wrong. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see any reason why it, it would be an issue. I, I can understand some religions maybe wouldn't, but I think if you were of that religion and same-sex, I, I think that kind of, you know, same-sex marriage, it doesn't go together, does it? So. Some people had different opinions. Um, as Christians, we believe that same-sex marriage is like totally against um, our belief. And obviously in the Bible, it says um, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Ah, I see what she's done there. Now that is clever. Where have I heard that before? Oh, it must have been America's favourite religious hate organisation, the Westboro Baptist Church. Gotta love them. God never talks about it in the Bible to be right, and if you're obviously obeying him and going by his word, you shouldn't go against it by doing something. Yeah, and it even says in the Bible as well, like people who do same sex marriage, they they like they bur they will burn in hell. And it is a really, really bad sin. It's what it's one of those sins, one of those commandments that like you shouldn't really um like yeah, go against, really, so yeah. Oh, you mean opposed to all the sins that you can, like, really go against. The majority of the arguments against same-sex marriage centre around religious beliefs. But we're Christians, and we do disagree with same-sex marriage. Um, at the moment, you have, we have civil partnerships, and they entitle same-sex couples to everything in law um, that, a, that a married couple has, except for the name. And my view as a Christian is that if same-sex marriage is legalised, um, then churches will be forced to carry them out because actually under, like the government is saying that it won't happen, but under European law that won't stand up at all because the church provides a service of marriage and as soon as a, a same-sex couple wants to get married um, and they provide that service, either their marriage licence will be taken away from them or, or the vicar will be just dragged through the courts. This is true, they do have a point. David Cameron's plans for gay marriage could leave some churches open to being sued under human rights legislation unless they agree to perform same-sex unions. Legal advice was sent to the Prime Minister by Aidan O'Neill, 
a leading human rights lawyer. He said, churches that refuse to marry homosexuals could be banned from using council facilities and Christian teachers who refuse to take classes discussing gay marriage could be legitimately fired. The document also states that the exemption granted to the Church of England by the Coalition Bill to prevent it having to conduct gay marriages is eminently changeable in the European Court of Human Rights since the established church has a legal obligation to marry anyone in their local parish. There's a, co there's a petition which has been taking place which you may be aware of, the Coalition for Marriage campaign to keep marriage the way it, the way it is and uh, it's actually reached, I think, in the region of 600,000 signatures yeah, at present. And it's yeah. the fastest growing position that's ever, ever taken place. And at the moment, the government, they're not taking it seriously. Now, this couple have done their research. The Coalition for Marriage Petition for maintaining the traditional definition of marriage has reached up from 627,000 signatures. But why are these people so opposed to gay marriage? Anyone would think it was against their religion or something. One of their fundamental arguments is that legalising gay marriage could threaten the sanctity of marriage and the standard heterosexual family unit. I'm not sure how exactly they think this will happen, unless they think that gay people intend to take over the world and enslave all breeders. To be fair, we do have the enslavement of straight people in the pipeline, and as soon as we finish turning Zac Efron, we're totally going to get on with that. Gay people are just simply not the menaces to society we're made out to be. I mean, clearly there's less gay people that follow any religion, but that's not so bad, especially when you consider that most religions want us to burn in eternal damnation. But there is almost double the percentage of gay people with a degree or equivalent level education than there are straight, and a higher percentage in good health. It does, however, inform that there's a higher percentage of gay people that smoke than there are straight, but that's because of all the stress we're under not being able to marry the people that we love. Probably. Maybe. All right, I think you've got us there. So gay people want to get married, but there's these hundreds and thousands of people that are against it. I've heard their side of the story, and now I need to hear the other. The gay side. <laughs> the gay side. <laughs> this is Andrew. He owns The Heart. It's a gay pub in the lovely seaside town of Eastbourne. And he's also the chairman of the Born Out group, Eastbourne's LGBT society with over 100 members. But do you know what? I think he might be gay. Well, civil partnerships came in in 2004. Uh, that gave everybody a legal right, or a, uh, the same legal rights as uh, heterosexual marriage as such, but civil partnerships couldn't be called marriage and they couldn't be undertaken within churches. There has been various legislation that's been coming through recently uh, where it can then be called marriage and then same-sex marriages can take place within religious places. So what's the big deal? Why is civil partnership not enough? These gays are so demanding. Gays, why you no be happy? I mean, there are LGBT people who are religious. Um, just because they're gay or lesbian doesn't, shouldn't preclude them from having a religious background. Therefore, I support the fact that if they wish to get married and they wish to get married within the sight of their God, I don't see why they should be precluded from that. The idea of a religious homosexual was a curveball, I must admit. When you're trying to mix religion and LGBT issues, you are always going to face certain problems. Um, I think that is something that is never going to be solved, certainly not overnight, and certainly maybe not in my lifetime to the point of total acceptance. There will always be some religious fundamentalist or some radical religion somewhere that will have some issue with something. And not just about LGBT issues, but because most people's religious views are personal to themselves and everyone inter interprets their own religious views differently, therefore you're always going to have these sorts of problems. But should religion be able to have such an effect on the law of the country? People? I can see why it does, but no, I, don't, I think they're two separate things, so no, I don't. Uh, no, definitely not. I don't think the church should have the power to decide what is legal and what's not legal. That really is down to the government. No, not at all. No, probably not, because it's a belief system that varies from person to person, so no, they probably shouldn't be shaping the laws. Yeah, yeah well, I think so. I think when, when marriage came about originally because of religion with the Bible, I think that we do have to be, be careful. And, I mean, you know, we, we can't... You're not to judge, um, and we're not we're not the judge. But 
when it starts to come into the church and then it affects our rights as Christians to say, no, we don't agree with it, um, then I do think that that's a problem. So what are the government actually doing? How are they going to handle this? How are they going to stop World War Gay? I asked Tom Lydiard, a member of the Conservative Party. He's gay too. Phase one of the gay uprising. Infiltrate their governments. If we are looking to move towards greater equality with regards to same-sex marriage, we also need to remember that equality exists for everyone else. So everyone's views are to be heard. We live in a democracy after all. Do you think, though, that that religion should have such an overwhelming power and effect on, the, on politics in this country? I think that religion and politics are two separate issues that different people hold different beliefs. Some are very religious, some are less religious, some are, are atheist or agnostic. However, it's, I, I, I don't think that religion as a whole holds the country to... holds them up against the wall and makes them do what they want. In your heart of hearts, yes. what, where do you honestly see us this time next year with regards to same-sex marriage? Or at the end of David Cameron's political term? At the end of the the government's term, um, I do believe that the pledge that David Cameron made at the party conference last year, he pledged to achieve same-sex marriage, marriage equality, okay, across the spectrum by the end of this government. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. So what is the fate of the gays? Are they destined to forever be neglected the equal rights of other humans? Or will they one day be allowed to marry the ones they love under the eyes of their god? Is this a religious issue or a political one? Or both? Uh, will the two bodies ever be able to work together to come to sort of an understanding? Some sort of compromise? To save humanity from all the pain? I beg you, stop the madness! There are various things we could go off and start ranting about on things with religion. and But at the end of the day, most religions teach tolerance and acceptance. Now whether you are in a gay straight or a gay relationship or a straight relationship, as long as you're in a loving relationship, whether that be in the sight of your God or not, that I think should be accepted by any church. I think you should be able to believe in what you want to believe. If you love someone that's the same sex as you, fuck it. Do you know what I mean? Literally, it doesn't matter. You should love who you want to love. And just because God says no, doesn't mean it should be no. Simple as. Whether you are male, female, male, male, or female, female. Love is love, and that is what it is. This is how I see it. How are we supposed to progress as a nation, as a species, if we're stuck trying to preserve tradition? Tradition will always hinder progression. But don't listen to my biased opinion. I'm gay. And if that means that I'm going to burn in the fiery depths of hell, watch me sizzle.